uh, this is this is the problem that <laughs> happened. You can see spices or something is given. Usually with this tool I can remove the uh, lock ring and with my chain whip it's not a problem. Um, but there are no teeth left. They've gouged deeply into this part here. Um, and it's rubbed up against the bottom dropouts. Uh, so basically, I don't know how to get this off now. It's looking much worse than I thought. I banged this in hard, uh, well, relatively softly hard to get new grooves made into this because there was none left of the old ones, were just very minimal. So I managed to get that off since there's not really much threading left. Uh, relatively easy to chain whip it out. However, this is looking much worse than I was thinking. You can see inside here it's gouged. It looks like it's it's completely failed. The whole axle is dropped or the body is dropped. Let's have a look now. This is just a stand spacer from a um, normal cassette. The, the teeth look to be relatively strong. They don't, only a little bit of sort of pressure worn out there on, on the various sides there. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the sides. So, these are looking good. These hardened Chromo 20 teeth. Six hole single speed jiggies. These spaces as well. Let's see how they come out. Alright. Looking alright. They're just spaces anyway. They don't they're not squashed. Alright, so they're not squashed up. Is this bent thinned out somewhere? Anyway, I'm gonna have to inspect it in another way. The body, these gouges are from, from running the uh, a cassette, it's a second hand bike so they're not from me or if it was only a very small amount of time that I used a cassette on this at low power. You can hear that though, that's quite crappy. This is, here is the problem, this. This worn out section, that's lost quite a lot of material there. Um, I'm not sure what to say now. <sighs> so what if I've lost the threading inside this hub body? If I've lost the shape. left in there. I'm not sure if this is supposed to have that much play, play on it. Have I busted the bearings inside or what is loose? I'm gonna have to get the tools to remove this. I don't have the tools to remove the body. But you can see that's that's a lot of wiggle happening there. Not looking good boys, not looking good. Just removed the hub free body I mean to a certain degree and started pulling stuff out and I've got stuff that looks like that inside I don't know if that's the remains of ball bearings <laughs> that looks absolutely shot inside there's a whole heap of crap in there and I've got no no idea how to uh, put this back together even if I can find the parts so yeah these third party nuts chain ring nuts that I've been using have taken quite a bit of scraping and you can see how much head they've lost on them that's from rubbing on this part here and that I've lost here looks like a bolt a hex key bolt as well I need to find out the pitch and the width of it of course don't know when I lost that is still holding. I don't know how deep it needs to go through. 
Yeah, we're just waiting now. 